Welcome to part 2 of 4 of the NDS Quality Bytes series. In this session we look at the resources, support and subsidy available to assist organisations in meeting the ADAC quality framework requirements. We also look at organisational self-assessment and the Industry Development Fund quality subsidy in some detail. Before getting started, organisations should review the information on the nds.org.au forward slash projects forward slash article forward slash 102 webpage. Information about the quality project and other useful resources are available here. For organisations that already meet other standards, mutual recognition is possible. You should review the ADAC recognition tool available from the ADAC website for information on mapping results against other standards. Consider requesting simultaneous review to reduce the time and cost of verification against the New South Wales Disability Service Standards. Ensure your certification or accreditation provider is approved by NDS. There are four stages to preparing for and undertaking third-party verification. We cover the first three stages here in Session 2. The first stage is planning and getting ready. You should allow for up to two months to plan and get ready. The second stage is organisational self-assessment you should allow for between one and three months for organisational self-assessment. The third stage is filling the gaps identified from the self-assessment. You should allow for up to six months for filling the gaps. Stage four is conducting a third party verification and this must be completed before June 2015. Stage 1. Get ready. You should review information on the ADAC quality and NDS websites. Identify or designate responsibilities to an individual or small working group. Ensure the board and senior management are committed to and engaged with continuous improvement and quality management. Develop an action plan to decide an efficient and effective way forward. Tell your internal and external stakeholders that quality improvements are underway. Seek advice from people you work with, other organisations and NDS. Check your organisation's quality subsidy el eligibility by submitting an application to NDS. And choose, choose a third party verification body. Stage 1, the Industry Development Fund Quality Subsidy. The subsidy supports organisations to prepare and participate in third party verification. The subsidy is only available to organisations which receive ADAC funding. The application process handled through NDS determines eligibility.
Subsidy amounts are determined by organisational size and the quality maturity of organisations. Payments against the subsidy are through reimbursement. Organisations may claim more than one reimbursement against their subsidy amount. Applications for the subsidy close in December 2014. Key resources are, are available for Stage 1. You should review the ADAC Quality webpage for the New South Wales Disability Service Standards Standards in Action Manual, the ADAC Quality Policy, the It's Your Business Guide Quality Chapter, and the Key Performance Indicator Guide against the New South Wales Disability Service Standards. You should review the NDS webpage for the Quality Subsidy Application Form, Questions to consider when choosing a third party verifier, the third party verifier profile listing, and you can contact NDS at any time by emailing qualitynsw at nds.org.au. Stage 2, self or gap assessment against the New South Wales Disability Service Standards. Organisations are encouraged to undertake a self or gap assessment prior to undertaking third party verification. You may conduct an internal self-assessment or an external gap assessment. The intention of this process is to collect and collate evidence against the New South Wales Disability Service Standards. Through this process you will identify gaps in performance and develop an action plan to address the identified gaps. There are various ways of going about undertaking a self-assessment. You may want to consider quarantining internal resources or sharing work between staff. Perhaps the establishment of a working group would be useful. And select a resource to support you through the self-assessment process. You could use the New South Wales Disability Service Standards Key Performance Indicator Guide, the NDS Quality Assessment Workbook available from the NDS Quality webpage, or the online NDS Quality Management Portal. Perhaps some organisations would benefit from an external gap assessment. Develop a timeline to undertake and address items identified through self-assessment. Key resources available for Stage 2 self or gap assessment. On the NDS Quality webpage you will find the Quality Subsidy Application Form, the NDS Quality Assessment Workbook and the Third Party Verifier Listing. The NDS Quality Management Portal can be accessed by going to ngoservicesonline.com.au. Go there and register for a free two-week trial of the online portal. After undertaking self or gap assessment, it's time to address identified gaps at Stage 3. You should talk to other service providers to share resources. 
You may allocate tasks internally to individuals or working groups. You might seek external consultant support. Or if you choose to purchase the NDS Quality Management Portal, you may access the resources available there. Further information can be found at nds.org.au forward slash projects forward slash article forward slash 102 or from the ADAC website or you can email qualitynsw at nds.org.au for more information. Please review session 3 of 4 third party verification. Thank you.